Okay, hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, I'm gonna do at least one cost minimization problem with perfect complement or with complements Leontif production technology. Uh, I might do more. And so, I mean, this was actually kind of done in front of us. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down and kind of see, I made a kind of a collection of problems here and my goal is to kind of split these up into videos that kind of make sense. So, okay. Uh, for a production function described by the following production technology, um, the output is going to be whatever is the smaller of four times our use of labor and our use of capital. Assuming the wage is one, the rental rate of capital is one, find our conditional factor demands for each input and find the long run minimum cost function. Okay, well, we know at the optimum, it's got to be the case that Q is equal to 4L is equal to K. So setting these equal, right, replacing the comma with an equal sign, why? Because otherwise there's waste. We're going to have Q is equal to 4L or L is equal to Q over 4 and Q is equal to K. Cool. And sure enough, yeah, this is going to produce Q units of output because if I drop in these factor demands, right, 4 times L, whoops, 4 times L and L was Q over 4. Ah, that's just Q. And then K is equal to Q. Sure enough. And then whichever is the smaller of these, Q and Q, yeah, that's just Q. So we know that the output we've produced is Q and we've done this without any waste, right? So we have optimized. What's this gonna cost? Well, it's gonna be the it's gonna be the wage times the amount of labor used plus the rental rate of capital times the amount of capital used. And if we do this, go ahead and we could find our total cost, 5 fourths Q. Okay, all right, very good. So I decide if I'm gonna we scroll ahead. Uh, I'm gonna come back to these in another video, so making everybody dizzy, including myself. I'm gonna skip up to this Bob's uh, pretzel stand problem. So suppose Bob's pretzel stand has the following production function. So Q is equal to minimum of 2x1 plus 3x2. Suppose the price of the first factor is five, the price of the second factor is 10. How much is it gonna cost for this firm, for Bob, to produce 120 units of output? Okay, well, just as we saw before, at the optimal, 120 is going to have to be equal to 2 times our use of input 1, and 100, 120 has to be equal to 3 times our use of factor 2. Right, so I wrote this out. 120 is equal to 2x1, or we have to use 60 units of x1, and 120 is equal to 3x2, or we have to use 40 units of x2. What's this going to cost us? Well, the costs of this input bundle, right, 60 units of factor 1, 40 units of factor 2, is just going to be the wage times our use of input one plus the rental rate of capital times the use of factor two. So 300 plus 400 is uh, two is 200. Can't read my writing. So 300 plus 400, that should, right, should be independent of my ability to add, right? Anyway, so 700, right? Cool. And we get exactly 120 units. So here I'm just verifying. So we actually solved the problem already. Now I'm verifying that we get exactly 120 units. That's important for minimizing cost without waste. So sure, show, uh, showing, sure enough, we have two times 60 is 120. We have three times 40, that's also 120. So Q is equal to the minimum of 120 and 120. That's awesome because it's exactly the 120 we wanna produce. So, okay, very good.